Today we're going to find the area of a trapezoid. So let's look at the um, let's look at look at a trapezoid. At some trapezoids, okay. Well, here are two different trapezoids. Um, but what you need to notice about the two trapezoids is that they have exactly one pair of opposite parallel lines, okay? This line is parallel to this line, but this line is not parallel to this line. This line is parallel to this line, but this line is not parallel to this line. So a trapezoid will have exactly one pair of parallel lines. Let me highlight them for you. All right. And also, if you notice, we assign some variables to each line. Well, the two pair of parallel lines, they're assigned an A and a B, and an A and a B. Or you could say A and B, A and B. It really doesn't matter which one, which ones you label as A and B, as long as the two are labeled A and B. And then you have the height of your trapezoid. The height of the trapezoid um, comes from, 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 is the distance from one parallel line to the other parallel line. A straight distance. So if you were to if you were to start at this point and drop a line straight down, you'd end up right here, and that would be your height. Over here, if you were to stand right here and drop a line straight down, that could be your height. Also on this one, you could also it could also be located here, and on this one, it could be all located here. Any really anywhere between these two lines, you could you'll find your height. But normally they start in the corner and come straight down, okay? They normally start in the corner and come straight down, okay? That's the way they normally have them labeled, okay? So, if, if we wanted to find the, um, find the, the area of a trapezoid, we have a formula that we need to use. And that formula is area equals h divided by 2 times a plus b. Okay? Some people write it as area equals one half the height times a plus b. It just depends on which way which way you want to write it. Um, I just prefer this method because here it, it just seems like it's a little bit easier because you take your height and you divide by 2 and you add these two, the A and your B, and you multiply them together. I just prefer that over um, this one. But you can, you can use either one, okay? So let's try one. Alright. Let me draw a trapezoid here. Let's say that's 4, this is 2, and this side is 8, and we're going to say they're centimeters. Alright, so my formula is A equals H divided by 2, A plus B. Well, um, first I need to label all of my pieces. I need to label everything, okay? So I need to find my height. Where's my height of this of this trapezoid? Well, here's my height right here. Now that I found my height, then my two parallel lines will be A and B. This can be A and this be B, or this can be A and this can be B. I'm going to make this one A and this one B. All right? So now the only thing I need to do now is substitute. I want to substitute. So I have A equals, well my height is 4 divided by 2 times my A is 2 
plus my b is 8. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide 4 divided by 2. Well, what is 4 divided by 2? That's going to be 2. And what is 2 plus 8? That's going to give you 10. And so therefore, 2 times 10 is 20 centimeters squared. Okay. So got another one. Okay. I'm going to make this 6. Make that 12. And make this um, um, 5. Okay. So we're going to write our equation. A equals H divided by 2 times A plus B. Let's label our A, B, and H. Let's label our H first. Well, our H is going to be our height. Our A, B will be the two parallel lines. So this is going to be our A, and this is going to be our B. So now I'm going to write A equals 6 over 2, 6, because that's my H divided by 2 times A is 12 plus B which is 5 okay so I have A equals 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 12 plus 5 is 17 okay so what I did I substituted everything in I substituted my 6 in for my H divided by 2 and I substituted my A and my B and I got the um, the sum here so now what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply 17 times 3 well 17 times 3 is 51 and whenever they don't give you a, me a measurement here um, then you just write units if they don't give you any units you just write units So it's going to be 51 units squared. All right. Let me give you one. So I gave you these measurements. You need to, to figure out which one is your height, which one is your and your which one are your two bases, okay? If you'll please find the area of this uh, trapezoid and place the video on pause. Thank you. All right. Well, first let's find our our A, B, and H. Well, I have two parallel lines here. So I know this is going to be either my A and my B, or this is going to be my A, and this is going to be my B. I'm going to allow this to be my A, and this is going to be my B. This 10 right here, which goes from one parallel line down to the other parallel line, is going to be my H. So I'm going to write A equals H divided by 2 times A plus B. So A equals instead of H I, I hope you wrote 10 over 2 for your A you're going to write 12 plus for your B you're going to write 3 so your A is going to equal 10 divided by 2 which is 5 and your and 12 plus 3 is 15 now what you need to do now you need to multiply 15 times 5 and that's going to give you 75, I hope you remembered, units squared. All right. 
Okay, that's it for this video. Um, please visit mathmoon.org for future videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.